My name is Oliver Bell. I am the co-founder and managing director of Simply Chateau. I set up Simply Chateau in 2004 um, with, uh, with my business partner, Ravi, um, and we were actually we were both straight out of uh, university. So we, we didn't really have any sort of professional background. Um, we, I'd been on a Chateau holiday straight after, um, after university with sort of 30 friends uh, and was amazed at the, um, the value. So we'd been uh, looking to set up a business. Um, we didn't really know what in. Um, so the Chateau idea sort of stayed with us and um, that it all started from that. R Ravi is, a, is, a, is an old school friend, um, but then we went to separate universities and uh, we, um, uh, we sort of, we both, both lived in London after, uh, after university and uh, we sort of re-hooked up um, yeah, set up the business. We didn't, yeah, we didn't have any funding. We, we sort of, I mean, we were basically, we were straight out of you know, university, so we were just sort of broke. Um, but fortunately, both our parents lived in London, so we were sort of living at home um, and uh, wanted to set up, set up a business. Um, the good thing about um, uh, being, a, being an agent is you really, just, to start with, you just need a sort of a phone and a laptop. Um, so we, just started finding Chateau uh, sort of online, uh, and uh, then contacted them, saying that we're going to we're going to be the next big thing in uh, in sort of Chateau rentals and in, in uh, getting a property to the to the market. Um, and a few of them took us up on it, and so that's how it how it started. Um, we had to learn how to build um, how to build a website ourselves because we didn't have any money to to fund it. Um, so the first website was a pretty pretty terrible sort of uh, uh, website. Um, the, our initial market, because we'd just come from being students, we were, we were targeting towards students. Um, so we had these big chateaux, um, and the idea being that between, if you get 20, 30 friends together, the, the cost per head is, is, is tiny. I think, I think it would cost us sort of 50 pounds per person per week for, a, for an a incredible chateau in the Dordogne. Um, the, we quickly found out that the students weren't really interested in, in the proposition, uh, but it was young families um, who would then club together. So we, we typically get three or four families um, taking over a chateau. Um, and that, so then we completely redid the website to target it towards uh, the sort of the, the family audience and, and sort of extended family reunions and, getting, and still getting a group of friends together, but it was just a slightly, it was not really the, the student market. Uh, and then it started doing very well. The, the chateau world, a lot, a lot of sort of a lot of the owners know each other, uh, especially within within each region. So within Burgundy, you know, if, if you if you contract with one chateau, then often if you if you do well for them, then they'll be talking amongst each other, and then you can sort of quite easily find uh, uh, you, you pick up a few more. Uh, so gradually it grew, and then yeah, so we now so we now represent about sort of three hundred um, privately owned chateau in France. Now the, the the biggest issue I think is um, there's. We, the travel industry lacks a kind of coherent voice on 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 lots of things um, because it's made up of so many different parts. Um, the it probably manifests itself most obviously in the sort of whole bonding um, issues that we find ourselves in now. Um, it affects the consumer in that the consumer has no idea um, which component part of the of their holiday will be. Um, protected by which organisation? Um, so, uh, if it's a protect, if it's protected at all, um, and that's it, it is damaging to the travel industry. We, there needs to be a kind of clear message on on what you're booking, what's protected, and by who. Um, so, I think that's the yeah the biggest single issue. Yeah, if someone's starting up, let's say yeah, straight out of university, like like we did. Um, I would say. Um, is not to try and be all things to all people, um, which I think is actually the Harrods catchphrase: is to be all things to all people everywhere. But um, it would be definitely to not not do that and and try and and carve out a niche um, before you then look to expand. W we made the mistake early on of trying to do too much. So w when we started, we um, although we started with Chateau, we also then looked at okay, well why don't we take on um, some large properties in Spain and and Portugal and Greece and um, and we were spreading ourselves too thinly because we didn't know those markets um, like we knew the chateau. So we quickly um, we quickly realised that we quickly realised that, and then got rid of those and specialised uh, entirely on on France. When we realised um, that we were doing that well, and then understood the other markets 
uh, and, our, and our consumer better as a, as a result, we then moved into uh, the UK and Italy and the Caribbean. On holiday, I, um, I, do, tend, I do go to France a lot. Um, so I do, that was our initial, initial offering because we did have a sense of, um, it felt very natural to us. Um, and so I, I do particularly like the Dordogne. Um, I think it's uh, a very attractive part of France. It's very laid back. Um, it's got fantastic food, wine, um, and all the local villages are absolutely stunning. Um, so that is something, and it's also very good value. So it's something you can just jump on the ferry and, and get across. Uh, it's, so it's, it's a very, um, so I tend to do one holiday a year often with a big group of friends and family um, to one of our chateaux. Um, so that's probably one of my favourite. And then, but I, I do also, I still very much, it's, I do like to be able to get away to a, a beach and just do nothing for a week because obviously it's, you know, life is always so frantic. Like, a, like most people, you do want to just keep going to new places. So I tend not to go back to the same place um, more than once. So in terms of, um, I'll go back to France a lot because obviously it's a, it's a work thing as well. But then I will take a, um, we'll always go to a different, a different property um, because you just want the sort of new experiences, I guess.